Sometimes it just takes a woman's touch. Hey everyone, my name is Caroline and in this video I'm going to show you my best techniques for creating better videos with Google Gemini. Have you ever tried to create a video clip with it only not to get something quite right? Maybe the timing is off, the action is weird, or it just completely misses the point of your prompt. Been there, done that. It's a common frustration. But after a lot of experimenting, I have found two specific tricks that solve a lot of these problems. Now a quick heads up to follow along on this tutorial, you'll need a subscription to a Google AI plan. For this video, I'm on the Ultra plan, which gives me access to the video features we'll be using today. Now let's get started. To get to Google Gemini, you're gonna go to gemini.google.com, logged in, and I'm using my ultra subscription here. And you're going to hit tools and then you're gonna hit videos with VO. And I'm gonna go over text to video first. And then in the second part of this video, I'll go with this ad photo and I'll show you how that works. Keep in mind, it is an eight second video. So let me show you my first example here. In this example, the setting is in front of a modern office. I describe the people and I describe the dialogue. What I learned out of this is that the dialogue needs to be under eight seconds. Otherwise, it just cuts it off. I'll show you the video. Is your boss coming to this meeting? I am the boss. Who is the real decision maker? You're looking at her sport. And it worked out. So what I described was a Hispanic man and he had a yellow tie and a blue suit, correct? The woman is blonde. Yes, she is. And she's wearing a black suit. Background is outside an office building. Did everything perfectly. It's not always perfect. And I really like this video and I'm using this video. Let's go to the next video where things didn't work out so perfectly at first. And I have a satirical video set in a modern office, man hunched over his computer, looking frustrated, frantically typing, deleting lines of code. A woman calmly walks up, leans over, presses a single key on his keyboard, instantly red error message, screen is fixed, success message. Then the woman smirks and says, sometimes it just takes a woman's touch. Sometimes it just takes a woman's touch. Now, the problem with this video is that the woman never actually touches the keyboard and actually it goes to success before she actually even finishes walking up. You can almost even see the success come up as she's walking up. It didn't actually do what I asked for it to do. But I noticed that the keyboard was a black slim keyboard and then I wanted to emphasize the woman's hand is pressing a single key on the keyboard. But I was thinking, hey, if it makes a video of just a single slim keyboard and then somebody touching a key, then maybe I can cut that in. I put that in and then next thing I knew, it came up with a completely different video, but it's a lot better. Sometimes it just takes a woman's touch. In this video, yeah, she walks up, you actually see her touch the keyboard and then it says success after she touches the keyboard and she doesn't actually speak it's just a narrator or something like that but i like the acting in this video i thought it came out really well so i'm going to use this video and so i even said write a social media post to go with this video to promote my book yeah, and it gave me some options so that was really cool so it was kind of an all-in-one i was trying to do a social media post dio doesn't seem to be able to make 9 by 16 the vertical videos so i kind of have to stick with the landscape videos for now and that is making videos from a text input next we're going to move on to making videos from a photograph this was my first attempt at it and it went very very poorly i put photos of my two cats two separate photos into one photo and i uploaded it and said hey using the cats in the photo have them meet for the first time it did not do that this is terrible this is not how it, went. it just kind of animated them in place so i gave up on that so what i did was i purchased a Canva subscription, I made this photo where I took both cats and then I hit the remove background. And this is a paid Canva subscription in order to remove the background. So full disclosure, I paid for Canva. Once I popped that in, I said, create a video of these two cats. Me for the first time with audio at a background inside a beautiful, rich home. Cat on the left is walking on air here. Still not the great, but not the best. So here's the best cat video I've made so far. And once again, this is made, first of all, removing the background 
in Canva. So this is the photo I started with. I uploaded that and I said, the cat provided in the photo is wearing ill-fitting tiny chef's hat, blah, blah, blah. And then it, it goes into this very detailed description of what the video should be. And here's the video. Time to make the biscuits. My one regret about this video is that it starts off with just a blank page and then see after a few seconds, then you see the bakery. I think that if I had started the text with describing the bakery and then said, hey, the cat is walking into the bakery, I think it would have started with the bakery from the get-go instead of starting with this blank page. But still, I'm very happy with this. Now that I'm getting better at this, to test out my theory about the background scene or to not have that white scene at the beginning, I have a picture of the dog and now I'll show you how to do the remove background. If you have a paid subscription to Canva, you import the dog's photo and then you hit this button called background remover. And that's it, it removes the background. And then I save it, I hit share, I hit download, I'll do ping and then I'll click transparent background and I'll do that one page. And then I'll download it as one page transparent ping. And, it, and that's how I get the transparent background. And that's what I upload when I go over to Gemini. Here's Gemini. And I started off with the setting is the Augusta National Golf Course, make the dog play golf. And here it is. And it starts off without that white background. With It starts off with the golf course. Now, I have never been to Augusta National, so I don't know if this really is Augusta National. So if it's not, you can tell me in the comments. If it is, here he is. He is playing golf. Great job, Tucker. So there you have it. Two simple tricks to get much better videos from Google Gemini. Remember to keep your dialogue under eight seconds and always describe the background first when animating a photo. These small changes will make a huge difference. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more practical tech tutorials. Let me know in the comments which of these tips you're going to try first. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.